Are you looking for the best makeup cameras? In this video, we will look at some of the 5 best cameras on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Sony A7R 3 The Sony A7R 3 is one of the premium models in my list of cameras suitable for makeup photography. It is Sony's latest mirrorless model. The camera uses the same 42MP sensor as its predecessor but can shoot at an impressive 10 frames per second. It is obviously aimed at rivaling the Nikon D850 and Canon EOS 5 DSR and offers unmatched speed and clarity. At its core, it remains a mix of the A7R Mark II and the more premium A9. Offering enormous image resolution, superb burst speeds, and more than robust autofocusing ability, it is the finest camera we have seen in a long time. There are all the bells and whistles you expect at this price and AF joystick is within easy reach of your fingers. Sony has given the menu a makeover and makes every feature just a couple of levels away. You can personalize your photo shoot of wildlife almost endlessly as the Mark III offers so many options at every stage. The grip is large and reassuring. It also houses a battery that is double the size of a Mark II. Since mirrorless models gulp power, this is comforting as you don't have to carry a second battery with you. Number 2. Canon EOS RP. In the world of full-frame mirrorless cameras, Canon's EOS RP is perhaps the biggest wildcard from the company and it is literally the best camera you can get for under $1,000. It can capture superior quality photos and amp videos and retains true-to-life colors which is really important for showcasing your makeup. The company is using a 26.2 MP full-frame sensor in the EOS RP and it is more than capable enough. Especially, if you pair it with a wide aperture lens, it can produce really well-detailed images in artificial lighting with minimum noise. As you'll be mostly shooting your makeup photos and videos indoors, this is really helpful. If we talk about image quality in general, the photos come out well-detailed with rich and amp, vibrant colors. You can always shoot in RAW in case you don't want to rely on the predefined color science and edit in post. However, Canon seems to have tuned the EOS RP really well, and you can also adjust the manual settings for a bit more customization. Video is also a delight with 4K 25fps and 4K 24fps support for regular alongside up to 4K 30fps for time-lapse. The time-lapse feature can really come in handy when you need to showcase an entire makeup process from finish to start. As far as the quality goes, it produces flagship-grade footage which looks stunning. The LPE-17 battery unit doesn't really keep up for very long with around 250 shots when using the display and around an hour of video recording time. That's not too bad but maybe it's gonna be a good idea to keep a couple of extra batteries around, just in case. If you are looking for a flagship-level full-frame camera but you don't really have the extra cash to pour in, the Canon EOS RP is going to be the best option for showcasing your makeup work. It's priced really well and if you get a few extra batteries for longer shoots, you are going to love using it. Number 3. Sony A6500. Compact mirrorless cameras often come with micro four-thirds type sensors that zoom in two times and make shooting makeup difficult. That's one problem that the Sony A6500 resolves by using an APS-C sensor in a compact body, similar to most for three cameras. The 24.2 MP Exmor CMOS sensor on the A6500 is one of the most capable ones in its segment and it handles indoor shoots almost just as well as it does outdoor shoots under bright sunlight. Not only does it keep the photos and amp videos in check, but it also handles low light noise really well. You can get some amazing makeup photos while shooting with this camera. It handles dynamic range like a charm, so even in artificial lighting, you're always getting balanced photos. It also retains the colors really well. This is where Sony tried to make the photos exactly like what's in front of you, so that's a huge advantage. Videos is where Sony has taken the lead over all the other APS-C cameras in its segment. The faster autofocus and the 5-axis stabilization is something you're definitely going to love. However, the sheer quality the A6500 produces is kinda excellent and I do prefer the 4K SDR video on the A6500 over any other compact mirrorless in this segment. 
The NPFW50 battery can last up to 350 shots or up to 105 minutes of continuous video recording time on a single charge. If that's not enough for you, you can always keep another battery around, but I feel like for most people, this is quite enough. If you decide on getting a compact camera that you can toss around in your bag, but you also need the no-compromise image and amp, video quality, and the convenience of changing your view by switching lenses, then you can't really get any better value than the A6500. Number 4. Panasonic Lumix GH5. The new offering from Panasonic Lumix GH5 is easily the largest micro four-thirds camera that I have seen in many years. However, the device is not outsized but feels compact and comfortable to grip and point. The sturdy magnesium alloy body is entirely water and dustproof. The GH5 has a remarkably advanced image stabilization system and can work together with Panasonic's lens stabilization. The viewfinder is large and bright and extremely easy to use. At the heart of the Lumix GH5 camera is a new 20MP 4 3rd sensor that offers visibly improved picture quality over the older models. It is coupled with the new Venus engine that offers 1.7 times the processing power of the GH4. The autofocus has been newly designed and offers excellent 9 frames per second burst shots. An autofocus joystick is a delightful addition. The most astounding feature is the magical ability of the camera to extract 18MP images from 4K videos at 30 frames per second. The buffer can store 100 shots, and you could go on taking pictures without any distractions about running out of space. Panasonic is aiming for this model to serve as both a beauty video camera and makeup photography. It is able to record 4K at 60p with 4,2,2 color sampling and 10-bit depth. Number 5. Canon G5X Mark II. The Canon G5X Mark II is the flagship of Canon's point and amp, shoot lineup and in case photos are your first priority, then this is definitely a better option than Sony's ZV-1. It also takes good videos, but you'll have to give a few of the modern features up. Canon's 20.1 MP CMOS sensor and the 13 element f1.8 lens make a huge difference in artificial shooting environments. It is literally putting the ZV-1 to some serious competition and it does blow it away from time to time. As mentioned earlier, it takes better photos and by that, I mean sharper, more detailed with Canon's amazing color science. This is the type of camera you can just start shooting within the auto mode. If you really want though, you can still tweak the photo in post, but most of the time the camera will handle the processing itself. For videos, you get up to 4K 30fps and OIS is also present to improve stabilization. That's however where the similarities with the ZV-1 ends. You do not have HDR video support and the color science will actually come down to personal preference, but I feel that Sony is doing a slightly better job in that department as well. Canon's NB13L battery holds up to an hour of 4K video recording and it'll give you a respective 230 shots if you're using the display. So, maybe that's enough juice for photos, but I'll definitely suggest keeping an extra battery for video. The Canon G5X Mark II is an extremely capable point and amp, shoot for photos. If you don't mind paying the slightly higher price, you can definitely give it a go. But, in case your main priority is video, get the ZV-1 instead.